Season 4 is here and with it comes new loot and new possibilities. In this video I'm going to show you how to get gold at a super fast and consistent rate. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the video, currently only 4.6% of the people watching my content are subscribed. So if you want to help me out in reaching my goal of 10,000 subscribers, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm also currently live over on Twitch, so make sure to stop by the stream and say hi. Finally, make sure to join the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to chat with other members of this amazing community, as well as to keep up to date with my schedules, both on Twitch and YouTube. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to start hopping servers. For this strategy, you're gonna to wanna to spawn at Golden Sands. Stock up your boat to start off as you may be needing supplies when fighting other ships on your server. This strategy is best done with at least two players. So if you're looking for someone else to play with, make sure to join the Mystic Penthouse Discord server. Again, links in the description. The way myself and my teammate do this is we raise up an emissary that we want to grind ledger for. For example, the gold hoarder, we get to grade five and sell everything that belongs to that company, leaving all of the rest of the loot on our boat. After that, we lower and raise up another emissary and grind again until we are grade five in the new company, for example, order of souls, and then sell everything that belonged to that company and repeat the process as long as we want. While we are one specific company, we do not sell anything else on our boat that is in relation to another company, which we will be grinding on in the future of our session. Start by sailing south to the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. On your way around the seas during this method, make sure at least one person is shooting out to any islands that you go by looking for coral messages in a bottle. We will get back to why later on in the video. Once you have arrived, you're gonna to want to send one person down into the shrine, preferably whoever is more familiar with the shrine more. You're gonna to wanna to just progress through the shrine, collecting any pieces of loot that you see, storing it in the mermaid statues. Your teammate should be collecting all of the loot from the mermaid on the surface in the meantime. Once you've got to the top and collected the chest of tribute and the rest of the loot, the breath of wild, if you have a bottle that leads to that shrine, what you'll find actually is if you are going around collecting these bottles from islands, you have a very high chance of getting a shrine in the loop we will discuss in this video. That will actually net you some extra profit and rep for any company you choose, as well as efforts towards your commendations. Next, head over to the treasury of the lost ancients. Here you will need to complete several waves of enemies to unlock the treasure. Again, leave one person on your boat and send one person down as you will have tridents and kegs in the room to aid you. One person should always be looking out in this method. Once you've completed this, again, collect all the loot by placing it in the mermaid statue. Moving on, head to the Shrine of Tribute. Again, there is another chest of tributes here and some other puzzles along with a hefty amount of loot. Have one person go down, grab as much as they can and complete this shrine. Again, if you have a bottle here, grab the breath here too. Once you've done this shrine, head back to the shrine of Ocean's Fortune and repeat the process. You can do this for as long as you want, selling at different points, and it's completely up to you. And yes, doing this with more people is far more efficient, so make sure to join the Discord server again if you're looking for more people to play with. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.